Hello friends and welcome to another craft video today at the library. My name is Miss Grace and I am going to show you how to make your own paper tissue lay. It is so dark and dreary and wintry outside that I thought we'd make something fun and colorful and tropical. So what we're going to need for this project today is some kind of twine, string, or yarn. You're going to need some tissue paper. You might have some left over from the holidays of any color. I chose pink and purple because it's bright and happy. And a handy dandy pair of scissors. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is cut a piece of string, which you're going to cut to however long you want. So I'm going to call that good about there. A good rule of thumb is I usually cut about an arm's length of string or yarn. Um, so however the person who's gonna wear the necklace or lay that you're making, um, because however long their arm is, that's usually in proportion to what size of a necklace they need. And you can always cut a string shorter. So I've cut my string. And then what you want to do is we are gonna cut some tissue paper. So I have a piece here. And I kind of just eyeballed it. Um, I did about um, one inch by about six to eight inches. So um, a good rule, I usually, if I'm looking for about an inch, I look at my thumb and the size of my thumb and then I go, oh, that's about, that's about an inch. So I'm gonna cut up like this. And really it's whatever length you like. If you want it longer, it'll just be fluffier on your lay, um, but you do want it long enough. We are gonna be tying this around our string, so you don't want it too short, or it will be easier to rip and will be harder to tie onto your string. So that's how you cut that. I already have some paper already, um, already cut that I cut earlier, and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's gonna be fun and look Varieties to spice of life. So, and some of them I need to cut in half again. So we have all these fun colors here. So I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna take a piece, a piece of tissue paper. And I'm gonna fold it in half. And where I folded it in half, I'm gonna gently pinch it in like this. So it's gonna kind of look like, kind of like a hair bow. So you got one on each side. And then I'm gonna take my string. And because this is our first one, we wanna find our, the center of our lay. So right there is our center. And we're gonna tie, we're gonna gently tie this on. I recommend doing this very gently or else your paper will rip. So I didn't do super tight of a tie but for our purposes, this doesn't have to be the tightest um, knot. And then you just make a little knot on here. And then you repeat this step. And you can uh, make a fun pattern if you want. You can, um, you can do a solid color. Maybe you have a lot of leftover red um, tissue paper from the holidays and you wanna use all that red tissue paper. And then I'm gonna tie it on here like that. Like I said, gentle knots. I say this as someone who kept ripping the knots earlier. So then I do it again. Fold in half. And up. Pinch it. And gently tie it. And then um, I push them, I kind of push them together. So the next step is once you, once you tie your um, guys on here, you're going to take this top part here and you're gonna fold these guy, this one down. So you're gonna fold one of your edges down or one of your points like that. And then that's gonna to start to create your tissue paper lay. It's gonna, 
kind of pinch it and squish it. And you can easily manipulate the paper to kind of look the way that you want. If you want these to kind of poke out more and be more sporadic and fun, you can. If you want to smooth them down for more of a flat pattern, you can as well. So after you, you just continue the pattern to a desired length, you have this. So this is my completed one. Um, you can go all the way up to the edge, but I liked the idea of it just being kind of just around at the bottom. So this is a really fun project. If you enjoy doing this or um, end up doing it or you just want to watch the video, that's cool too. Um, you can share it on our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you all are creating. And I hope that you have a bright and colorful day on kind of a wintry day. Have a wonderful day. Bye.